Iron Lady video walkthrough. Who would have thought? Video. Video game. HD. HD video walkthrough for veteran difficulty guide for Call of Duty. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Eight. 3. Yeah, what Call of Duty is this? So, Call of Duty 1, 2, 3, 4. World then at then War. World at War is 5. And then Modern Warfare 2 is 6. And then Black Ops is 7. And then this, this is, is 8. 8. This is Call of Duty 8. I guess you... Well, I feel like there was um, some Call of Duty PC expansions. Oh, probably. But those don't really count. Those are practically DLC because they were like... Yeah, that's like early form DLC. PC expansions? Yeah. Yeah. Like expansion packs like Brood, Brood Wars. Wars in Form of Destruction. <laughs> mm. So what are we... Oh, we're doing some uh, AC, airplane missions. AC-130. So you got three different types of munitions while you're using this thing. You just hit Y to cycle through them. Um, Any limit? Uh, they run out of ammo fairly quickly. And they, they, they don't overheat like a like so many guns do. Mm -hmm. But um, they run out of ammo, and they actually take quite a while to reload. So you'll find yourself cycling between the three a lot. Okay. Just like you know, while one's down, waiting for it to reload, you'll just be like, oh, switch, go to the next one. Let that reload while I'm using the next gun. It works pretty well. Um, there is an achievement in the second video for killing three tanks at once with one shot. It's pretty easy to pull off, actually. So there's one type of ammo that just destroys. Yeah, the 105 millimeter round is just big. It's huge. It's like a huge... Like each... The smaller the round, the... Uh, the smaller it is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Um, I don't know a thing about guns. The metric system makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're using the metric system. Well, we're in France right now. So I, I, I don't know. Don't completely understand why they call the Eiffel Tower the Iron Lady. Um, so we're in Paris. Is that a new level? It's been a night since I'll we did the last voiceover. So take a drink for a new video. City. Anyway. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't think... Oh, they really missed a lot of opportunities. I talked about this in the last video, I think. The Louvre. They, yeah, they didn't shoot <laughs> the Brett Favre, <laughs> the Louvre. They didn't show that. Um, and they didn't show, I don't remember seeing anywhere, the the Arc de Triomphe. Mm. Which is a pretty, not nearly as monumental as the Eiffel Tower, but very recognizable if you've been there. And it's a pretty amazing thing. I mean, Which one is that? The huge arch uh, that's in the middle of the city. It's got like... Uh, a huge roundabout going around. Oh, man. yeah. Like, you know, six or seven lane roundabout. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I I remember that. There, you... The sidewalk goes underground because you can't walk yeah. through the roundabout. Right, and if you want to actually, like, see the thing up close, you have to kind of, like, walk under a tunnel. Yeah. Uh, so for that one shot right there, switch to the, the largest round that you got, the 105 millimeter, and just shoot the building. That'll kill a bunch of the dudes inside the building. It'll destroy it. That's, like, one of the side objectives, I guess. Is there a cheese-eating surrender monkey achievement? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that would be great. There should have been. Oh, that'd be a great achievement. Like, quit the level? <laughs> oh, lower the difficulty. Because When you're in, in, in the, the Paris level. Yeah, when you're in Paris, <laughs> lower the difficulty to get the cheese-eating surrender monkey <laughs> achievement. That would be great. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> That's such a great line. Like, there's a couple things like that from The Simpsons that have just penetrated culture to the point where it's not even The Simpsons anymore. It's just French that. Apple. It's just, it's more where than just the, like, a Simpsons Where frogs quote. thing come from? The frog eating? Or, oh. No, they, you just call them frogs for I don't some know. reason. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. It's Maybe weird. they eat frogs. I, I think they do eat frogs. Maybe frogs are... I've eaten frog before. Have you had frog? <laughs> no, I've never eaten a frog. I have. I don't remember where. I like I, I frogs, remember. dude. They're cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are kind of cool. They're cool little pets when you're... Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, eight. Especially if they start as tadpoles. Oh, and you grow them? Like, watch them grow legs. I remember when I lived in Seattle, 
I mean, there's frogs everywhere. Mm -hmm. And raising some tadpoles to frogs, but they were never big. Like yeah. the frogs that we saw that were like by my house were always very tiny, very like toads. Or? No, they weren't toads. Toads are, I think, are bigger. Like the ribbit. Toads are. I think toads are just more like warty, like more bumpy. Hmm. <laughs> I think frogs are smooth. I, I always thought <laughs> it was more of a size difference. <laughs> I have no idea. Hmm. My amphibian. How do we no, end up talking about stuff like we're this? We're in France, dude. Oh, right. Frogs. <laughs> no, I mean, but we're playing Call of Duty, and I should be talking about strategy. <laughs> it's, yeah. Kill people. The only walkthrough that you've done where you talk about strategy all the time is Dark Souls. That is the only walkthrough I've ever done where it was nonstop strategy talk. I feel like Splinter Cell actually has a lot. Yeah. Uh, the older Splinter Cells, not the most recent one, was it Conviction? Because that was much more action-based. Yeah, less stealth. A lot more shooting. Yeah, much less stealth puzzles. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, just uh, right now you're just kind of holding out this position, so you don't have to get super aggressive. Just kill people when you can. Don't you don't have to push forward. You're just waiting for. Uh, I think an evac or air support or something to come back and help just you out. Holding. Yeah, you're just holding your position. Um, and as soon as this tank shows up, throw the uh, hit right on the D-pad. Get the oh, smoke grenade. The hammer of dawn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the hammer of dawn. And then the AC-130 in the sky shoots it. Ooh. Yeah. Is that friendly fire? No, that was not. I got hit by someone else because I was looking up in the sky trying oh. to see if I could see the, the plane. But you can't, unfortunately. And uh, on to part two.